In this video, we're gonna be talking about how online coaching business models are actually broken. You may not be aware of it, but yours might be broken, or if you're thinking about becoming an online coach, these are some things to be mindful of and considered as you build out your business. Number one is always understand this, is that you're constantly having to, quote, chase the next client, right? Because if you have a coaching program, your programs probably only last so long. And so after they've gone through that cycle, you're going to have to replace them. So as you serve customers and clients, you lose them and you've got to serve the next one and the next one. And so you kind of can get trapped in a hamster wheel effect. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I understand by serving customers one-on-one, -on -one, that is your highest ticket option. That's your highest ticket feature, i.e. revenue stream, but you're always replacing it. So it, you're always having to replenish it. And so that work is never done. It's always unending where you have to keep pursuing forward. You're always chasing, quote, the next client. Number two is also understand the fact that with that kind of model and thinking that mindset, there's only 24 hours in a day right? Your time is limited. So working one-on-one -on -one kind of creates a bottleneck. There's only so many people you can serve and interact with in a day because you've got to live to, and you've got other aspects of your business to do besides working one-on-one. -on -one. You know, there's, there's different facets or different hats you wear in your business. Working one-on-one -on -one is part of it, but there's also administrative tasks, content creation tasks. There's other subtasks that you're going to be doing that won't allow you to be working with people and you're going to have a life outside of your business, right? That's part of why you build a business to provide for your life, right? So you can operate your life, your business around your life instead of your life around your business. And so thinking of that is knowing that there's only 24 hours in a day. So you want to be mindful in the practice of how you're building your business. And if you're up and running, this last part, which is very key, is start factoring what I want to call the legacy effect. And when talking about the legacy effect, it's where you can go from one to many. Okay. And ways of doing that is through using like a group coaching model, or maybe you have a course or program where instead of being one on one, you might have that available at a higher tier. You have one to many where people can go through a planned path, right? But you can do weekly coaching as a group setting. So you, your time is now being multiplied across an unlimited number where one to many doesn't take much more time right? It's just committing the time to serve them. And so doing one to many, and you do that through IE group coaching programs or also membership programs. So if you don't have these built into your coaching business, it's very key, very pivotal to start thinking about how to incorporate it into your business, because that's how you start to develop legacy where now your income is not always tied to your time, right? It's not one to one, it's one to many. So you have a multiplier, a multiple, instead of it being eye for an eye, right? I often like to call this also the razor effect is think of it like this is where, you know, if you use shaving razors, like I shave, you might shave, right? You're always having to buy new razors, right? If what your program does delivers an end result where they don't need anything anymore, which is awesome, you've made an impact, but what, now where's the next thing? Where's the next future revenue? Whereas if you have an ongoing membership program where maybe you're adding more content over time, now you have a quote university, an academy, the razor effect can kick in and you can start getting micro payments every single month for them to maintain access to that. So you still have your one-to-one -one high tier, but now you have your one-to-many in group coaching and your one-to-many through membership program, i.e. razor effect. So you can start to build legacy because as your membership grows, right, your, your time multiplier grows as well. And that's exponential because it doesn't take you extra time to serve one-to-many. It doesn't take you extra time to serve membership people inside of your membership programs. So I'm kind of curious, do you currently as a coach, or if you're thinking of a coach, do you have a legacy model built into your coaching business right now? And if not, we can help you with that. That is what we do at Movement Formula. We have an all-in-one automation scale system solution for coaches that help them with their membership programs, that help them build that legacy model with websites, with funnels and membership areas, plus so much more. And you can check it out at movementformula.com.